And we were shipping it all over to China. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so like right now, if you are paying for plastic recycling, we're like, let's go. You know what I mean? For sure. Maybe yeah, they are. You don't have the stuff in your face.
part of the agenda. Uh, utility position and furrow. That involves any money. Uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, on a special meeting, you can't amend the agenda. No, we've been told that before, but we changed it at one time. Well, that's just what I read. The okay. special board meeting, we can't well, amend. We'll go with whatever you decide. Thank you. There was a question. Yes. Yes or no, approve the agenda. Yes. Mr. Thorne. Yes. Okay, reports utility. <coughs> I spent the last five days going over uh, the Crump Wells one, two, and three. And I just got a reading to each of you on uh, this will show the amount of water that we're using from the three wells. We have been running just uh, crump one and three. I today turned off, uh, I turned on crump two and turned off crump three to give the pump a rest. And uh, every three to four days, it would be recommended to alternate these pumps. We've had uh, some problems with the uh, chlorine coming through. It seems like uh, at one point we were hitting real low readings on it. As of today, the pump was, uh, the chlorine reading was 1.10, which is fairly decent. I'm trying to bring it up to a 2.0. So it, and I should have that in the next couple of days. Uh, I don't have any information yet on the uh, Mauricio well. When it, so looking for details on it, see whenever we're going to be able to add the pipe to it and get it back to where we're using it. Yeah. We're needing to have a licensed waste and freshwater operator. There's um, Jared Wilson who has made an offer to work under his license here by the hour. Then we have a, another, we have two gentlemen on besides him that we would probably need to contact. The CDPHE requires that we have a licensed operator and I haven't personally spoke to them. I have spoke to the uh, Colorado Rural Water District and got a lot of information on them how to go to proceed from here. And it looks like everyone's willing to work with us to get this fixed without a lot of problems, but they are going to, we, we still have to keep up with it as we go. Uh, I have a website that has a list of current operators for the water that we can go through. And <coughs> let's see. Bob has been cleaning the sewer pond drains. There's two of them there. It has to be done each, each day. I've been keeping up with the trash and cleaning the park or motive because of uh, Labor Day weekend coming up. And <clears throat> there's a link for the um, operators that, from CDPHE that if anyone wants it, I'll it's on if anyone wants this i'll uh, give it to them this this link explains exactly what an orc operator is and the responsibilities and then our responsibility for it but i've got contact for uh, uh the wastewater side and it's greg coulter who is very willing to help us he gave us 
uh, or Linda and I a lot of information the other day on where we need to go with this to get to where we're where we need to be. We're still a ways off from it. Um, the park restrooms have been we're trying to open them up by 9 a.m. closing them by dusk seven or eight right now they're clean and open after a meeting i'll run over and close them the um we'll make sure i didn't miss anything on this We do need to buy some diaphragms for the chlorine pump. They're a little piece of uh, uh, tubing that we need to have on hand there because it, it appears like those can get plugged up fairly quick. And I couldn't find any in the shop. And they should be at the uh, chlorine pump itself. So I'm, I'm going to say we don't have any. And we do have, there's a, other than the one person that's been working on the Mauricio well, I've got one more person in case they don't want to finish with this. I don't know. I haven't found out since I haven't contacted CDPHE, so I don't know what uh, time limit we're on. Last I heard, it was 30 days, and I don't know how much of that time's expired. Uh, Cindy Gully came up with an idea for a bake sale uh, for with the proceeds going to paint the building out here and kind of straighten it up along with asking the art class at the high school if they would do a mural around the uh, ADA ramp. Mm. We still have a roof leak at the community center that needs to be addressed, whether it be through insurance or whatever, but this has been going on for quite a while. <laughs> there's, <coughs> excuse me, there's uh, some people have tagged the wall behind the uh, grandstand out here in the park. We really need to uh, get some paint or do something to cover those things up. I know that there's a source of punch list. I haven't been able to find it. And going through inventory and the tools, it, from what I'm finding, it looks like I'm not finding some tools that there's uh, that I found on the maintenance phone that have recently been bought. And it's things like uh, stand up work lights, uh, some. Uh, hand battery powered hand tools and uh, so I'm, I'm still looking for those can i ask a question Bern? have yeah. you guys been working on the inventory of the town assets <clears throat> at all i know you've been so busy just dealing with the maintenance stuff it would i mean frank's been in there kind of going through what we have i haven't spent a lot of time in there i've been mm -hmm. like every hour up at the pump trying Okay. Since it's I don't really know. important twofold. Number one, Jim Ray needs it for the audits, and number two, as a and we'll get into this here in a little bit when we start rebuild the books at least back to 2023. I'll be able to get that inventory list of anything <laughs> bought since the beginning of 2023, and so if you've got stuff that's missing that was recently purchased, we can kind of compare. Uh, those notes. It's kind of hard to take inventory because we've got stuff here. The same over there. Right. It's scattered all over. There's no. Right. Nothing. Yeah, um, it's not going to be a fast thing. There's a lot to. Right. Um, do you guys need some help with like some inventory sheets or anything? Uh, yeah. That That's would be good. helpful, but. Okay. Uh, everything in order, mm -hmm. and we could count and everything. Take inventory of what we have and. Okay. So just so you know, that is one of the things holding up the audits getting finished is inventory. If we uh, get some maintenance people in, well, it's probably too long. I can start on inventory and possibly Monday, but it's, it'll take a full week. 
Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. It's just we need to get started. Yeah, we've we changed the combination on the locks on the uh, shop over here, the bathrooms. Well, I haven't changed those yet. The uh, all the wells, I put new locks on. There's a new a new combination on the uh, sewer pond. Going th uh, through this, at one time I thought I seen four remotes for the overhead door. Yesterday it seems like I could only find three of them, so I'm gonna have to, we're going to have to change the code on that. Frank and I tried unplugging one of them here in the back, and I don't know if there's a battery backup on it or something, but it still opens with, with the thing unplugged. So it's got to have a secondary power to it. But we need to change the common with the um, setting on them so the, the three remotes that we have will be the only ones that work. <coughs> we'll volunteer to uh, do some vinyl signs for the town vehicles if the council wants me to. It's simple on the door of town of Aguilar, on the side of uh, the emergency maintenance number and possibly numbering the town vehicles so that we could do uh, reports on them, maintenance reports, when what's done, you know, and keep a better log by number on the truck. We can put that on the agenda for um, next regular meeting. Okay. <coughs> Anything else? I took that uh, truck and cleaned it. It took me about three hours to clean it. I had that much dirt inside the truck. I mean, there, there no, nobody has ever cleaned it or nothing. Thanks, thanks. Then I took it to uh, I took it to Walmart. I had the oil changed, and they checked it out. This and that. Uh, we have a uh, Check the engine light on it, um, which we'll probably have to. Um, I didn't have time to address the whole thing, but it, it looks like it needs uh, a little bit maintenance. Like uh, the serpentine belt looks bad. We're going to have to change that before it breaks. And uh, the latches on the on the back, on the tailgate, don't work. There are just some pins in that, that minor adjustments, this and that. The door, the pins are coming out and the door don't close right, but all in all, but that leak we were looking at, I thought maybe it was on the front, but it ain't on the front, it looks like it's on the back by the oil filter, so. We're going to have to check, see where we get a, somebody to look at it, see what we can find. It's that oil leak. But other, other than, than that, it looks pretty good and that it just needs a little Is this, the, is this the new truck? No. Uh, the old white uh, one. You okay. know how we're trying to save on gas? Mm -hmm. gotcha. And so if that's going to help. They can use that to haul trash and mm -hmm. do the town stuff instead of the newer truck. Right. Frank, do you need this or? No, no, I didn't. I just wanted to show you what okay. that uh, report on uh, what What's was done on the truck. What's the year on that truck? 2000. Anything else? That's it. That's paid for. Okay. Thanks. The roads at the Crump Wells need to be graded real bad. The town had an agreement with them that we would take care of that. A gentleman that works for a county, Glenn Gaynor, has offered to uh, use his services. He's willing to come in and grade the roads for them. Uh, and I, it's my understanding we're going to have to give a throttle cable for that uh, to make to make it possible and those roads are getting bad 
Uh, the guy's got a, a legitimate, legitimate complaint. We need to do something there. And then. One day at a time, Vernon. One day at a time. That's all I could say. You know, we don't, it's not like we have all these employees. Uh, Zeb, well, that's why the council's here and I'm telling you what's wrong. I, I know what that's for. <coughs> Anything else? No, no, no. Hey, thank you. Uh, old health insurance and Monica isn't here. Do you have anything new to add to it? No, basically just, I believe the insurance was canceled as of August 15th. So, I mean, Sarah's looked into the one and it is whatever. Um, the care yeah, the, care Act, the Affordable Care Act yeah. is what the quotes are about from the guy last week. And with such a short time, we weren't able to get quotes from anybody else. But I think that um, he told Sarah, if we are going to do that health insurance, it needs to be done by Friday, like the enrollment. If not, then she'd have to wait until October to enroll again. I don't believe that's true. The Affordable Health Care Act, any any sort of life change, like loss of coverage, you can pretty much go in and sign at any time. Is this a broker you're talking to? Um, it's the same. Is it the? It was whatever she gave you last week. Okay. And yeah. I, that sorry, might I just be a broker sales pitch. Um, I mean, because you could go in individually and sign up for the Affordable Health Care Act on your own at pretty much any time whenever you have a life change, which includes loss of insurance coverage. And yours might be able to take effect right away if you find somebody. Yeah, I'd have to do it by Friday in order to have it. Even if it's not that company? I don't know. I'm, I'm, most companies will start for the new year and they start their enrollment like next month. But yeah, um, open enrollment, I believe, for your, for the general public starts November 1st. However, she's experienced that life change, which makes her eligible that, um, so yeah, if she wanted it by the 1st, then by Friday makes sense. But, you know, if we can't get it together by then, she could still certainly um, enroll and have it start on on the 15th. I believe you can get coverage starting mid-month. It doesn't have to be on the 1st. I will see if I get to send you a number tomorrow. Uh, this lady in Springs, you can call. She might be able to help you. <clears throat> okay. What does that cover? Who's all covered under that plan? It's a, just a family plan for Sarah. Okay. There's three people on her plan. And with the care credit for the $367, there's five people. Up uh, to five people or no, five people? There's three in my family plan. And, and then, then, yeah, she, she got a quote for me just in case my health insurance were to need to change. So the three something is right now for a total of five three out of Sarah's and then two on mine. So it's like three, whatever, 67. I'm not mm -hmm. sure exactly, but. Well, with and that was just a pro. I, I have no intention right now of switching my health care, but we figured since we were getting quotes as we right. came up, we wanted to know the worst case that the town would be looking at. Okay. So was well, the town administrator covered under any insurance? No. I didn't see any name on there. The only one I saw was Sarah and her family. That was all that was covered on there. And do we need to discuss about what the employee employer portion is uh, uh, no we're going to have to wait to see okay. what insurance she finds and then it's going to have to come back to the board okay okay let's go to quickbooks um, I know that there's still lots of concern about this, but I've uh, 
talked to a few more people in some bookkeeping groups that I'm in that and I specifically asked uh, if anybody in the groups was doing municipal bookkeeping on QuickBooks and I've got two responses on top of uh, Nicole with Levita, who did the books for Levita, that said uh, QuickBooks can absolutely handle town bookkeeping. And they said that um, they would offer me some additional free consultation on top of whatever Nicole, um, you know, we can't afford her very much. So we're ready to go. I'm ready to start on Friday. And speaking of, QuickBooks, did you make copies of them? Everybody has them? If you'll go to bookkeeping service agreement. That is what Angela and um, Her name is Nicole. Okay, and Nicole could propose. So basically under this, it's the service agreement and she's fine with this and I can you know provide the emails and I think I have copied Sarah and Erlinda on it. Just, she, she doesn't have quite as much availability as she thought she was gonna have when we first discussed this but she can definitely offer a couple of hours here and there for some consultation. And I know enough about QuickBooks that, you know, I just need some initial setup on the chart of accounts um, and some guidance with the fund accounting, which I already kind of have done a little research and, and understand the basic principles behind that. Um, so, I mean, we're ready to go starting Friday, start rebuilding these books from 2023 going forward. So if nothing else, we will have a clear picture of what has happened to the cash accounts in the last year and eight months. That is a part of what they're doing to get the audits cleared up. They have to redo the books. Yeah, starting from 2023 forward. Like I said, I mean, I've been suggesting since the start that we need to go back further. But at this point, I just don't even know if it would make a difference because uh, the last audit was completed in 2018 and Jim Ray is still even saying that he's finding issues going back to 2016. So, um, you know, you're talking about rebuilding the books, you know, going back, you know, pushing eight years, nine years at that point. So, um, you know, he's still, I, I, I Question him again last night. I'm like, look, Jim, what what else do you need? You know, where are we at on this punch list of yours? Um, you know, uh, we still need the the inventory, and he's you know doing some other things this week. It's hard to get him to you know pinpoint an answer. So, but my part, what I know I can do is I can figure out where the cash has gone the last year three quarters so i'm proposing what i'm thinking we'll probably use nicole for hour and a half two hours on friday to get started and then we'll you know as we're going and training um you know we'll get together punch lists um again you know for any questions or additional training and then we can reach out to her again, set up another appointment for another hour or two. I can reach out to some of these other consultants um, and some of the groups. And then I also think, uh, Erlinda, you and I should sit down and you should probably get some training on this too and be an, a, a user on the system. Um, you know, some of what we discussed this morning. Right. Yeah, I um, offered to come in and help. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Maybe Even if it's posting that I have right. to do, but and I will. Yeah. I can access some of the information that is needed right. to help her um, move along, so that we we have to get this done. Uh, the services that Nicole Marion is offering is general bookkeeping, bank reconciliation, 
detailed general ledger, financial statements, payroll, and check registers, and whatever. I other. think we just need to put under other consulting. That's all that she's going to be doing for us at this point is consulting. We will be doing all of that other stuff, and I'm you know perfectly capable of doing that other stuff. Um, like I said, there's just probably going to be a few things on the opening entries when we enter those opening balances of where they need to go. And that kind of, again, goes back to Jim Ray. And, um, but once we get that, we can start pulling the banking in and just we need all the bank statements from, you know, January 1, 2023 going forward, all the invoices that have been paid. And it goes pretty quick once you've got everything kind of set up. It's pretty easy to go back and do catch up, clean up, you know, for a year or two. We could probably have it done if, you know, a team effort, probably have it done in a couple of weeks. I got a question for you. Mm -hmm. We're going to be using QuickBooks. Mm -hmm. What's that going to cost? Uh, 30 days free, and then you get 50%. Three months, it runs a hundred bucks a month, so it'll be fifty bucks a month for three months, and then it goes up to a hundred dollars a month. Is that for EC or just it's up to three users? Three users. Mm -hmm. And somebody was uninstalled? There is no install installation, it's an online program. Really? Mm -hmm. Yes. You used to be able to get QuickBooks desktop. Um, where it was a, a software installation, but like everybody else, you know, uh, every, all these companies are pushing for subscription versus being able to buy one-time software, um, you know, downloads that you can keep locally on your computer. Now everybody wants subscriptions, and that's what QuickBooks and in, Intuit has really pushed for. So all the information that you're going to enter into Aguilar, mm -hmm. for Aguilar, mm -hmm. is going to be available somewhere else? Out of the building? Yes, but you would have to have login. It's secure logins. So there's going to be a handful of people, you know, myself, or my, and after I get done, you can even take me off of it, but Erlinda and then the office personnel will have access. Getting back to this bookkeeping service again. Mm -hmm. Item number your X one X B. Additional terms? Uh, yes. The leader should not participate in any financial audits of the client's books. What is she going to do? She's consulting us on how to set up her fund accounting, on how to run the books for municipal fund accounting, and what's the best way to do that. Um, again, you know, there's certain things in accounting that accounting is accounting is accounting. But depending on the business, the industry, there might be certain things specific. And with municipal accounting it's fund accounting gen you know the general fund the water fund the gas fund so we need to just make sure that we're setting it up properly um and so then when we're spending money it, it'll basically be set up in quickbooks by project and so there will be a project for the water fund there'll be a project for the general fund be a project for the sewer fund project for the gas fund so then as revenue comes in or grant money comes in or expenditures go out it'll be assigned to that project and then that's how it separates the reports um, for your balance sheets and profit and loss um, plus you can of course run vendor reports you can see who you've paid what you know to date you can run mm -hmm. comparisons balance sheets from previous years you can run you know uh, comparisons from the previous day you can see percentages or dollar amounts of uh, change. Um, you know, it stores pretty everything. I mean, everything and that assist currently does, but in a much more user-friendly fashion. And we do have 350 books. 
Um, that I don't think she's going to require. I'll double check. Um, yeah, because um, she cut back on what she was originally uh, had offered to do. She, um, her mom, you know, she has a senior mom, and so she's going to have to be traveling back and forth to Denver. So I don't think she's going to require that, but I will double check before we start with her on Friday and send this over. Um, there was one other comment that I okay. 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 She's going to be required for us to pay her my needs and all of them. No, no, so I'll be remote. We'll be doing this teams, so she won't be here on site. So with that being said, we just need to touch on the second part of it. Um, as far as utility billing, did you get a chance to look into those utility uh, billing softwares that got one word sentence of information on there? Very, very good. Okay. Um, so yeah, definitely check into that other one. And like I said, we're not switching anything at this point, you know, um, and maybe it's even we run QuickBooks along with just assist utility billing and reading, you know, I mean, maybe that's the option, but we just cannot stay on the assist for the accounting because I mean, Robert half CPAs can't you know, decipher the information that's input. And part of that was the user inputting the information, but it's a very difficult system to navigate. And so if Jim Ray is having problems with it, Rob Half is having problems with it, we're having problems with it, it just makes sense to go to something that's much more user-friendly, um, you know, and, and clear and easier. Um, I think with the utility billing, it, when we use QuickBooks, mm -hmm. we're going to have to manually enter everything from utility billing onto the QuickBooks side when we get our payments. When we do it, yeah, well, we'll, we'll have to manually well, do that because they don't. Uh, okay, you guys keep fighting me on this. No, I told you we're, we're not yeah, going to no. be doing that until, um, I mean, we've got a full year before we even get up to current, even to this year, you know, so we're going to just be entering past entries at this point. And so, oh, we're not going to get to the point where we're going to have you doing double entry. We'll, we'll have this solution figured out by the time we get to that point. So, so at least for you know, the next six months, maybe I'm, I'm just picking it on it. Um, you'll still be on the old system. It's just, but you will be learning QuickBooks right. at the same time. Right. Okay. Have you gone through <coughs> these to find out? software uh no but she gave us the bill last week um what's currently coming up and what the breakdown was i i didn't bring it with me no i mean this is the first time i'm seeing this i just got the package tonight so was there something that you saw in here well there was that one Bill that you mentioned about that guy from Trinidad who, where he came in and did the operating systems and all that stuff. The computer kernel or whatever. Yeah. Is that one? Yes. Is he involved in the accounting process at all? He's just our IT. Yeah. Okay. So what's the difference between him and the services that Rivera was offering? Or is that the same person? The gentleman that was on um, the yeah. Dunsboro website. Oh, okay. Yeah, that ADA thing, and, and we need to keep on top of that because that's big bucks in fines if we don't get that upgraded. So that's got to be on our, our current budget, you know, of emergency stuff to do because somebody could come back us on, on that. But I think for now, what going to QuickBooks, it's about rebuilding and starting for 2023. Yeah, 2023 going forward. And once we get that plugged in, we will maybe be able to have one audit. But we'll plug along on it. I told her I could, if she was open on Friday or on a Saturday, I would come. And help her. 
I think not this weekend. No. I need some downtime. Uh, again? <laughs> again? You can <don't> keep <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I had downtime since it started this. I mean, they work 10, 11, 12 hour days. Um, but maybe the following weekend, the following Saturday, then I could come in and. That's probably going to be my downtime then. Oh, uh, no. You don't know. No, I'm good. That. Yeah, that would work. So, so anyway, so yeah, um, again, just a final note on that. I will double check on that $350 retainer. Um, so yeah, <laughs> since she's reduced it, maybe a $100 retainer, see if she'd be open to that or something. Would you guys be okay with that? A $100 retainer? Bernie? No do I need to make a motion that we're approving this or anything? Yes, we do. Does anybody have any questions? Well, I, I like what I'm hearing. I want to say that. We're good? Yep. Then can we get a motion to approve the bookkeeping services with Nicole Marion? I make a motion. I second. Roll call. No protest? Yes. Ms. Adams? Yes. Mr. Brojas? Yes. Mr. Romero? Yes. Mr. Thorne? Yes. Very good. Thank you, Angela, for all your efforts. You're welcome. We can get there. Go ahead and take the weekend, dog. <laughs> Thanks. Have <laughs> Monday. Oh, right. And Monday. Monday. Okay. So next thing on our list is interviews for utility position under new items. Who normally handles uh, interviews and plays HR for the town? Board. Board does. Yes. Okay. The, the only thing that we haven't been doing is uh, all your references. Uh -huh. and Stephanie was doing that for a while. Yeah. Are you I, still doing that? I haven't called any of these references at all. I don't know. Mm -hmm. We ready to start? Yes. Uh, first person on the list would be Robert Lee. Alroy. Alroy. Did, did we announce that we were doing interviews here she tonight? Called. Okay. So he's not here. He's not here? No show? Joshua Trujillo. No show. Dave Gully. I'm sorry, Mr. Dave Gully. Sir David Gully. Who wants to start? Um, I just, yeah, I, I mean, I understand that you've been in this position before, right? Yes, I have. Several times, you sat on board. You, yes, I have. Yeah. Um, Vern, do you have any specific questions for him? I know Dave, and I know his uh, work history, so I would like to bring out that uh, he has worked for the county, he's worked for the county, and... Uh, Personally, I know that he's uh, he's got big references here, and he's uh, trained with all the heavy equipment and set for life. Are there certifications? What certifications do we need? Water. Just the water. Just water. The big thing, but you previously held the water license, correct? No, ma'am. No. I was going to get them, but circumstances. Is when I left the town. Okay. Um, would you be willing, if you were hired, would you be willing to get a license? Oh, yes. Now, is this 
going to be at my cost or the town? The town pays for it, correct? We can. What is that cost? Everyone it doesn't matter. Right. I I'm not. I was, no, no. I was told on Friday mm -hmm. uh, that we had to hire. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, it's not even. Right. I was just had curiosity if anyone knew what the so cost was. As of to... right now, the town would pay for his water license, mm -hmm. and I am not really sure. Bernie, do you remember if the gentleman mentioned how long it takes to get one? Or would that depend on Dave? It depends on how fast they qualify to even take the test, but I'm still interested in what does it cost us? He has to apply for a test license or a small CDPHE set. Would you please? She's going to go check and see how much of But I do know that we can rent a license that you would work on them. Yeah. So, that's going to be. What about the license from the previous um, employee? Is that kind of herbal? He took his license with him, so that's out. This right here, you're all. Uh, you applied for a maintenance supervisor. Yes, I did. Right now, we needed a maintenance worker, not a supervisor. You know, we don't have nobody else to, at this time. I was under the impression we were looking for two supervisors. Uh, He's going to be in charge of himself. That's but cool. no, I'm not. We still have to get, even if it's a part time employee, That's we nice. have to get somebody. If if he should be hired, then he'd have, I mean, he can't work the seven days or we have to do something. So we're looking at two part time. Dave, you got something to say? Yes, I do. I call CDPHE myself. I've talked to some of the councilmen, not everybody. There's a clause in there that if you're under 3,300 uh, people in your town, you can get a Class S water and sewer license. And what's I, the Class S? What it is, I don't exactly know other oh, than okay. it's good enough for the town or a uh, okay. uh, if it's under 3,300 3, population. Small communities. A rural community? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I can <laughs> check on it again tomorrow. Dave, it says that you have all kind of heavy duty equipment experience. 50 years. I'll run anything you got a key for. As long as it runs. As long as it runs. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Including excavators, drag lines. I don't care. I know I didn't put that on there, but that's what I was trained for in the military, and I got over 50 years worth of experience. Would you, would you be willing to work part-time just till our funds Get better or whatever. You know what I mean? Uh, Put a time limit on it, Frank. Put a time limit on it. Well, I really don't know. Maybe See, that's 20 hours a week or something like that for right now. It's just the money that we don't have the funds. I... <laughs> have to say with if you ask Vernon with and that's with help that he's had, correct Vernon? The hours that he's put in in just <coughs> a few days. Well, so, been, yeah, what what the town needs is really will be too part time and it's gonna be twenty hours a week apiece because I believe Dave you can't or do not want to work weekends, so no, sir. We have I will not work weekends if that depends on time off. Is you know, it's but and I, I think I did mention it'd be part time, didn't I? No, I asked you and you said 40 hours a week. I didn't know it was part time either. <laughs> did you? <laughs> did you, Bob? What did you know it was part time? No, I had heard part time. I didn't hear it. 
Well, let me go ahead, Vern. You're the councilman. <laughs> I'm talking to myself in trouble here, so. <laughs> no, I. I thought we had discussed it in an open meeting, actually. I think it came up during one of the last couple meetings, hiring two part-time people, it, I it believe. It did their last one, but I'm into that. I'm so in trouble all the time anyway. <laughs> Can I say something else? The last employee made $22 an hour. Right. So what are you asking? 21 He doesn't. I worked with him before. So I know what got done and what didn't get done. Okay. Okay? I will get it done. But I'm going to get paid for it. I can run any machine the town owns, any of them, regardless. I'll run that galleon you have over there. I can work on the galleon. I can work on the truck that Frank was just talking about. I have maintenance qualifications too, but I did not put it on there. After 50 years, you learn to change the oil in cars, trucks, maintenance, quick equipment, everything. You've got the mayor pro tem. Have I ever run your blade, Gerald? Yes, sir. Did I break it? No, sir. Have I run your backhoe? Yes, sir. There you go. That's your mayor pro tem. And that's all y'all have is a greater. And I also have class A CDL license. I'm certified in a 18 wheeler. I can go down there if Gerald would hire me and he could put me in one of them 18-wheel drive or 18-wheel trucks. <laughs> yes. Wait, we're, that, we're, excuse me, me, sir. We're doing the interview I here. That. I don't have to. Do that. I know him. He's my neighbor. <laughs> but anyway, Dave, you know, you know what we're up against here. Oh, I do. And, and, and I would really like to have you full time, and and I think we're going to get to that point. We're just a little bit tight right now. And I don't know exactly what we can do, but we'll work things out and, and come up with Would you be open to like a trial period of 20 hours a week for maybe, let's say, 60 days or something, and then we can revisit it? Or are we, are we set on hiring somebody full time now? Because if he doesn't want to work weekends, then we don't have that weekend coverage. So that's why it makes sense to maybe you know do two part-time right now somebody willing to work weekends at least on a temporary basis like uh gerald said would you be open to that if i work i work every other weekend for two hours that's all it takes to pick up the trash check the pumps go down and clean that stupid sewer that's what i'm saying the people that you had before Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that would help, you know, somebody willing to, you know, um, if he's willing to alternate some weekends with another individual, um, uh, we're still going to need some additional coverage. Or maybe even put him 30 hours and the other person, you know, 15 hours or something a week, you know. I, mean, right. I think there, there's that, things that we that can... Might, would you consider 30 hours? I'll consider, let me, to help the town, and this is the only reason, I've got six, five people up here sitting, well, no, three, six, seven people. I'll help this town out. But the first time somebody messes with me, I'm done. I don't need to work here. I'm here because I live here. I want to help this town get out of this mess. And it wasn't me that put you there it wasn't none of these board members that put us there but what i'm saying the board members need to stand up and be a, take the reins take the ability to handle the business of this town Maybe that's, that's what, what i'm saying trying to do. i know i know Maybe that's what we're trying that's our goal so okay. would you consider 30 30 hours Dave, what do you think? Now, 
What are you thinking? I'll do the 20 hours. I'll do the 20 hours. I'll do them of a morning. That's five hours a day for five days a week. Okay? I still want the same amount of money. Then there again, I don't need insurance. I've got my own. But what I am saying, I know this board has certain positions because I like I was on the board, so I know. We have clauses that this board can come around and ask what I'm doing. But because of the lawyer that we used to have said it was harassment. And that's illegal. Yeah, we're not supposed to be doing that. You can, I don't care, Bob. You can come and watch me dig a hole, and if I can't dig it in 15 minutes, tell me to get off the back of it, okay? I mean, that it, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's, if you're going to interview me for this position, if I can't do it, then tell me. Gabe, do you have any problems with, like, Vern and I are maintenance, but maybe we, you could tell us that you can't make it to the pond down there that if we would cover for you. You know, it says, give us a call and we could pick up a little bit of the slack for you. You, you won't need to. to. I'll guarantee you, you won't need to do that. Well, if I you won't. do. Yeah, I'll we call you. Any problem with that? No. I mean, you know, we don't want to go stepping on your over you, this and that. We want to work together. I know that. We want to work together, and we this way. If you have you you need somebody picking up the trash, give Bert or me a call. Bert, do it. No. <laughs> I mean, uh, something like though. <laughs> Yes. That's all. That I mean. Yeah, that'd Dave, be fine. Uh, all I'm, Dave, all I'm going to say is, you know the relationship me and you have. Oh yeah. And you know, any day you can walk up up the street and tell me what you need. And oh, you I know. know. You know that. I don't have to remind you. But I do want to ask this: When's starting time? Nine o'clock? Eight o'clock? Seven o'clock? You know, I I really don't know. I know for the office, I know those hours. But as far as maintenance, I don't know. I think in the past it's been eight. If that's if that's doable, I mean, I, I think we're fine. With that. I mean, if you want to sleep in and eight. come in and no, I no, there's um, no sleeping in with me. No, but anyway, yeah. No, I'm just saying I, I'm not really I, sure as to the hours for. The maintenance person. Okay. Eight till four. Eight till four is eight hours. Right? Yeah. That's With 30 one. minutes worth of lunch. That's 30, 430 then. Okay, eight to 430. That is eight hours. If I work four hours, eight till noon, 12 o'clock, that's four hours. Correct? Five days a week, that's 20 hours. So I want to work from 8 o'clock a.m. till 12 a.m., p.m., whatever you want to call it, at noon. Five days a week. I will go and I'll get trash. Now, I know Virg, or Vern has, Virgil, wow, he must be thinking of Anyway, Vern has been writing all of the stuff down that he's doing every, he has to stop and do all of that. I know how to do residuals. I know all of that stuff, but I don't have a license. Now, I'm not going to stick my neck out and get it chopped off. No, that's on my punch list is to get a water license. And, well, if you can get somebody that I can work under, right. would be fine. And I will get the water license. I was willing to pay for it myself, but it's going to be under different circumstances. Yeah, but 
unless you want to pay for it and then Motown reimburse you at a later date. Uh, me and the wife was talking yeah. on that. Yeah. I'll pay you Tuesday for a never day. Like day. Off. Okay. Yeah. No, uh, it's something that the town pays for it. Okay. But we borrow from Gerald. And if I, if this, <laughs> if this, doesn't pan out for more than 20 hours within a certain length of time. We will revisit it. I will be, yeah. Okay. Okay? So I'd that's. Like make a motion that we hire well, we have to finish interviewing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you yeah. got to finish the interview. Here to interview. <laughs> <laughs> hey, one, one make sure this is uh, because in the past, there's a dollar raise whenever you complete your probation. Then there's been a dollar raise when you get your license. But that's after, I know that. Okay, well, I want to make sure that Well, I think it's 90 days. 90 yeah, days. I'm, yeah, I think it's 90 days. But that's all right. That's, I, I, whenever that gets to that point, I'll remember. Well, I want to make sure that <laughs> now, like your new days coming. If you're hired, uh, we've been taking inventory in there. You know, try to, we got stuff scattered all over. I, I, I but if don't. we go in there, we're not going to see what you're doing. Oh, we're I'm going to go take, try to take inventory. Yes. But, okay? okay, but now, starting time. Because Gerald knows, I don't know if anybody else has been past my house, but I'm painting my house. I would like to get my house painted, and I'll have in the afternoons because I want to work of a morning, eight to four. And if you go in, I don't care what you do. You're a councilman. No, we're just I don't care. inventory. If you need something, you let us know too. Oh, yeah, I will. We will order it and get it in. If we have the money, Frank. Yeah. So That's one of the problems. That, so we... Know where we're going. Come on. And we had set up committees to yes. uh, on the thing, but that was only to assist you if you on uh, yeah, that's all. if you had something you needed, you could talk to the committee or at the uh, workshop and we would you know can maybe I, make a suggestion even if you, you what you can do. I you think you're gonna need it, we'll try to order it. Okay. Can I ask the board? Or Linda's not, don't know. I'm, and I'm not bad mouthing you, don't get me wrong. Does any of the board members seen a maintenance log book when that backhoe was greased? If you was over there whenever the line was being dug, you could hear it screaking. I haven't found a maintenance nothing out there. But that's what I'm saying. They're supposed to be greased once every 10 hours. I don't think they do maintenance on anything. Dave, Dave and I was but, trying to set up uh, where we number the vehicles that we set up a maintenance schedule, but that would be, uh -huh. you know, it, it, Yeah, that's fine. Just, but I'll keep my own log, too. I will have a, a, a binder, so I'll know. But there again, do I have to write down, stop every hour? Because if I do, no wonder it takes so long. Isn't don't they put it? Do they feed it into the computer? As far as I know, I don't think so. I'll go, I'll go back into I'll go back into some of my paperwork. I've got it all. Of what Virgil done, what Derek done, and how they done it. Then I will go from that. If it's all right with this board, I want it all okay with the board. You know. Because Virgil, he went to each well. He gave an account of each well, how much water was out of it. Derek done the same thing on his gas test. Has anyone been going out here to the gas meter and putting a dial indicator on it? Has any of the gas lines been checked? Yeah. That's what I did for the Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Is that right there? I have a meeting September 4th. Uh, 
with and I'm not trying to add the problem. No, no, I have a meeting September 4th with uh, the gas people, Black Hills, and who else? City of Walsenburg. Mm -hmm. So if by chance you're hired, uh, if you're not busy on September 4th, if you were that's my birthday, I ain't gonna be here. <laughs> no, I'm joking. The seventh is my yeah, birthday. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. You didn't have one last week. Not September seventh. You didn't oh, got here yet. Jeez, I thought I wished you a happy birthday. But anyway, you may have. I know. September fourth, I have a meeting with them. So whoever gets hired, I would like for them to sit in on the meeting. I will. And it's um the inspection of the gas pipes in the community. Yep. Well. Okay. Yes, I would. Because I can go on and on with all kinds of questions. But, okay. but that's all up to you all. Steve, are you into putting in water meters? What's that? Are you into putting water meters in, installing them? What yes, I've done that before, but yeah. it was under Mike Long. You remember where Mike was here? Right. Yeah, Mike Long was here. And he was a supervisor. Mm -hmm. He carried the water license. So he stood there as long as he was there. I could put in all of the water. Yeah, I've installed all of them. Not gas Huh? Taps? Yes. Yeah. Oh, no. Well, let me say this. Each one of them, each one of them lines has to have a CAD well done on it, which I'm certified in. But that's a whole new ballgame. So you, I appreciate baby. it. Thank, Thank you. you. Joshua Lloyd. Hello. Hi. I thought he was Joshua Lloyd. No. <laughs> okay, let's start with. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your experience. Well, I'm pretty much a jack of all trades. Unlike Dave, he's got a hell of a lot more experience on backhoes and equipment than I do. Uh, pretty much I'm small time maintenance. Anything small time I can do, anything that I'm shown I can do. So I just haven't been put into experiences like Dave has or any of these other maintenance people have. I've pretty much been working small time jobs. We've seen you doing a lot of volunteer work on here also, cleaning, sweeping. I have landscaping experience, painting experience, uh, building maintenance experience, uh, detailing experience. I, I mean, you pretty much name it, I've done it. Well, isn't that one of your references? No. no it should be. I have a question. Is this a one person position or is this a two person position are we hiring two or only hiring one two two correct and both there are going to be part-time for now two okay any questions What are you requesting for salary? I put in there 18, I believe. 17. 17? Okay. I saw 16. Uh -huh. <laughs> I saw 14. <laughs> you said it, how much? In there I put 17. 17. Oh, okay, sorry. Oh, there it is. Again, I'm not looking for a supervisor position. I'm not looking to supervise. I can do inventory, I can do landscaping, I can do small maintenance, I can, you know, you name it, I can do it. Would and if I don't, if I can't do it, I can always learn how to do it. Would you be interested in getting a water license yourself? Yes, sir. It wouldn't hurt us having two license operators. Yes, sir. You have a valid Colorado driver's license. I would have to switch over my Arizona to my call to Colorado. It's a valid license. It is a valid license. Everything is valid on it. I have no tickets, no anything like that. 
Um, just I would have to switch it over if you require a Colorado. If you don't, I would prefer to keep my Arizona because it doesn't expire until I'm 65. So you're, you're dual resident, though, aren't you? I am. That's why I'm saying I've got family that I have residency out there with. I also live out here. So I would prefer to keep my Arizona license because, again, there's a more benefits to having my Arizona license than a Colorado license. We would just need to double check um, you know, any insurance liability on him driving the vehicle, but I don't see any, as long as it's a valid driver's license, um, I think it would have to be a The Colorado. only vehicle he couldn't use is the dump truck out there because it, it's air brake and it would require commercial license. OCDL. And that's not, that's not hard to get. Air brake certification is not hard to get. I've had it before. I mean, I've had certifications. I've, I used to work on big rigs. I used to take the transmissions out. I used, to, I used to take the rears out, rebuild them, put them back together. I mean, I know maintenance, auto maintenance, building maintenance. You know, again, I just, I've, I've had certifications, but as everybody on here knows, certifications expire, especially if you don't stay in the industry. So... And would you be willing to work um, like, you know, let's say if we brought on David on, would you be willing to work every other weekend? Would you all be willing to work with him and alternate those weekends? Well, that's why I asked if this was a two person position. I am willing to work the weekends. All the weekends, period. I am willing to work the weekends so that way he doesn't have to. If we want to split it up to where it's like, 1530 where I do the weekends he does the week or 2020 he does half a day I do half a day whatever whatever I mean however the schedule works but I have no problem working the weekends I mean especially if it's only like four hours a day I mean it's it's really not much it doesn't I've seen your work habits. You pay a lot of attention to details. Uh, for maintenance, that's a good thing. Well, and like I said, I can come in. I can inventory everything for you guys. I I mean, I'm pretty detailed on it. Because, you know, especially on the organization, I can stand there and I can take notes on, you know, what is this, what is that, the wrong frame. But in the long run, it's going to be the maintenance people that set the shop up. Well, that's what I'm saying. So I'm pretty good with maintenance. I'm pretty good with organization. I mean, you, you've seen how I've worked. Gerald has seen how I've worked. I've been working on Dave's house. You all seen that. So. Anybody else? Mr. I like the arrangement. I mean, the, the, the woman to work together and, and whatever hours they work out, they're, they're good with that. Yeah. I like that. We'll have uh, full coverage, you know, one, yeah. and the other one comes in or whatever. Yes. Well, there'll be maintenance phone also for emergency calls. Well, again, we can work out hours. He can work like the beginning of the week. I can work the weekends and, and the end of the week or something like that. We can always work the hours out. But yeah, that's, just, and you that's a later to type thing. You know, an on-call system too for, you know, at night, emergencies and, you know, somebody spring. Well, and that's what, that's what the town phones are for is for emergencies, always on, sitting next to the bed. We have an emergency. Right. We both live yeah, in town. Yeah, that, that Plain and simple. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and we have Andrew buzz about it. It's got to be correct because it's in the markets. Well, whoever's so, got the phone would go out, find out what it is, and contact the other right, because yeah. it might just That's be something. Part of it. So, yeah. what are we talking about? Because Dave did ask earlier too when, when's the start date? Tuesday? Well, I think. First, we have to make a motion. Yeah, I just want to kind of get it and out there. So I would know. say Tuesday would be 
fine. Unless if you're busy the weekend on evening. This yeah. Yeah, so Vernon's busy, so I guess Tuesday. <coughs> oh. The pleasure. Yeah, I'd like to. Wait, we have to do a drug test first. Well, the council wants. I'll continue with what I'm doing until the drug test comes back. How long? Where do they go? Just and when I'm sorry, where did I can't hear you? Where they can, okay. can they go to Trinidad? Takes okay. two days. So if the council decides on this is the direction they want to go, then maybe Friday or to submit to a drug test if that would be fun. Well, we will give me one now. If you want that, I don't know. No. We're not qualified, Dave. Right. <laughs> Yeah. So, this Friday? This Friday? Is that what you want? <laughs> Fill this one. <laughs> so, so if, are you available on Friday to go do a drug test? So then that way the results would be in for next week and you could do a start date of possibly Tuesday or Wednesday. Now who takes care of that? <laughs> the town? Okay. If we are scheduled on a Friday to go down there, we have to have a personnel oh, take us because we can't drive ourselves legally. And you, of course, Sarah, you know, probably got to make an appointment. Sarah will call tomorrow and see, and then uh, I'll designate somebody to drive you. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he was going to say, I'll do it. I, I, I got that. <laughs> I mean, just to make everything look No, 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 all, that's fine. You all still got a decision. <laughs> right. But with the state and with the Colorado, Los Angeles County, the supervisor had to drive. So we'll have our temporary supervisor that's been doing it all week. So you have your pick. You have Vernon, you have Frank, or Bob. No, I don't care. Bernie? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah. 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 I don't want to get Bernie's on it. Bernie's yeah. on it. I got it. Okay, yeah. let's move on. And anything else? Are you out of applications? Yes. Yeah, that was it. Is that it? Yeah. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Personally, I like both of them, so this, I would make a motion that we will hire both of them unless you want to do it separately. Separate. I make a motion they go is uh, hired as maintenance supervisor. Second. Roll call. Is that going to be for the part time? For how many hours or whatever? 20, 20 hours. There's <laughs> I think that'll be worked out. <coughs> I'm sorry, who's that? Who, who said Burning, that? Burning, Frank? Frank. Mayor Pro Tem? Yes. Ms. Adams? Yes. Mr. Brahas? Yes. Mr. Romero? Yes. Mr. Thorne? Yes. About oh, time you got a job. We're <laughs> done. <laughs> <laughs> We're done? Go okay. ahead. Well, no, I'm no, go ahead. to say thank you, yes. But also, Ben is, Josh is, we've been hired, evidently. Wait, we, we haven't let us vote. We haven't hired yet. Yeah. I'd like to make a motion that we hire Joshua. <laughs> oh, okay. But, okay, you might want to change your mind. No, I'm good. <laughs> After I, I would, I would so like bad. to recommend, as being voted for the supervisor, that he can work for with me for two or three days, so that he can get the feel of what he needs to do on the weekend. Sure. Yeah, we can work that yeah, out. No problem. Okay. And I'd like to make a motion that we hire Joshua as. Uh, Wait. Go ahead. One more question. What is the P rate? Twenty-one. 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 Josh was seventeen. Josh was seventeen. Five at fourteen fifty. Well, I know you looked at me. Seventeen. Correct. Yes, ma'am. That's what I was. Seventeen. Wait. 
with the same conditions on the race. I mean, they haven't voted. Same conditions. Maybe there's some on the race and if I get all my certification. I, I want to make sure that everyone here heard that. Yeah. Right. With a dollar raise after probation and a dollar if he gets his water license. But when do we cut him on 90 day probation? 32. Well, after they pass the drug test. Yeah. You know what going to be part time? Yeah, we got to go get a cup first. Excuse me. We are part time? Yes. Miss Adams? Yes. Mr. Rojas? Yes. Mr. Romero? Yes. Mr. Thorne? Yes. Welcome aboard, gentlemen. Thanks. Thank you all. Welcome aboard. Um, now we're all done with utility. <coughs> so let's move on to water hauling. I understand. Are we talking about the gentleman we're taking the load out there every week? You know, on that, <coughs> as, as a board member, I would think that be a little bit more comfortable if we got legal advice on this. Because I understand it, what little bit I've heard, he has he has paid for the water, so it's up up to us to provide the water. Is that the way I understand it? He paid it? for the tap, yes. He paid for the tap, so it's up to us. And so what does it take to, what is the issue why his, is he have a well? Mauricio well, well, we have to okay. get it right before okay. we burn. Let me bring this up. That we were instructed by the people that were here from the water, what, what, what's that? Uh, I have I don't know. Anyway, just do, we are over, the amount of water that we can generate out of our wells that and i've got a, a paper in my pickup that i can show you mauricio cannot come online unless but since we exceeded our water consumption tremendously i mean but, but the man has the tap already and he's got the sewer already well, I'm not sure. I, I, I understand that, time. Vernon, but the state also has laws that we have to follow. And and that is one of them that was brought up on credit. And it was about the Mauricio. Well, it has to be disconnected when we exceed a certain amount of water. And the town of Angular has exceeded more than double or what we're allowed to eat more than double. We are over the limit. Well, I, probably for three weeks now. I know well, that. We understand that, but that's why we're on the bridge. I actually called the school yesterday and asked them if they would see salt outdoor watering. And Mr. Town said, okay. I just, I told him the same thing, that we have exceeded the water. I know. Personally, if it was me and I got charged three thousand dollars for a tap, if you cut my water off, I'd want my three thousand dollars back. He's done nothing wrong. We didn't say that, Vernon. That's, I'm just. I mean, we're trying. You know. I'm not trying to make an argument. I just said personally, I. We're would want trying money. to resolve this water issue. I mean, I'm going by what the state mandates. I didn't okay. just get up and decide this is how it was going to be. Can you help us out? Is that what you were motioning? Yes. If that well is pumped, already pumped, a million gallon, that's all it might be allowed to pump. And if we went over a million gallon. What pump? The Mauricio well. It has a, is that the one that's broken, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's it hasn't even broken. pumped. And if it's pumped a million gallon, and we're only allowed by the state so much water out of that well. 
they've not it's not necessarily that of our rights. Total rights, right? It, and it's so total. We, all right. the wells. All the wells. Right. Yeah. Right. But there's there's also a galley up there. Two galleys. I don't know if you know that about the second one or not. That's mentioned in that. And yeah. Right? Right? It's mentioned. It's mentioned in the mandate. The yes. ratio well plus the, the galley. galley. Yes. It's all on mandate because it's under surface water. And it, it's one of them things, it can go either way. But if we go ahead and finish the well and put it back online, the state's going to come in here and say, hey, we're shutting it off right there. That is the exactly back. what we're trying to avoid. Yes. Um, I think this water hauling situation, I think we should get some legal advice on it. That's my recommendation so that we know where we're at. That's what we're just saying. <laughs> with this. That's what we're just saying. <clears throat> and, and that way we're going to be doing things right. Have we put any <clears throat> RFPs out for an attorney for the town? No. Um, Bernie a has a couple of, what, three? That's three on the list of uh, recommendations that. Wait, that proper time was going to present it to the board. Did you? That's on your punch list. Yes. Okay. So we'll we're going to have to table the water hauling so we can address this legally. So it's seventy five dollars a week that we're paying to haul water. One seventy five. One seventy five a week. Yes. Versus forty five. I thought it was two hundred twelve. <coughs> is that the living it's, it's one seventy five per load. So they're calling every time they take two loads every other Monday. So it's like three something. Oh, okay. So, so one seventy five times two. Then. Yeah. So how much water are they hauling to them? A thousand gallons a week. So two thousand every. So. So yeah, they're, 2, they're doing it twice a month, so it's two thousand each time, so four thousand total for the month. For the month, yep. Um, you guys do the meter readings. What's like the average use of water for just the average person in town? How many gallons are they using? Depends on the household size. There's a minimum of three thousand gallons. What allocated or kind of uh, estimated for each house, or yeah, whenever, whenever you pay your water bill, it's, uh -huh. it's based on 3,000 gallons per household, and uh -huh. then there's an extra charge going over okay. that. Anything okay. after that is your yeah. charge for it. Okay, so it's not, um, it's not excessive that he's getting, he's getting an extra that. I mean, we know how quick water can go. So it's not excessive, but it is definitely costing us a lot to do that. And I think they monthly average three to four thousand a month is what's showing that goes through their meter, mm -hmm. and what's going through their meter is what we're hauling in. But it's like three to four thousand every month. They very rarely go over the three. Do they evidently have a sister that they dump this water in? Yeah, and they do pay their forty-five or forty-seven feet overage. Um, Every month they pay the minimum charge. So for every thousand you go over um, the three thousand, it's two dollars and fifty cents for each additional thousand. Is that the living water for fifteen seventy five? Uh huh. Yes, that okay. was. Um, they hadn't been paid, and I don't know how long. We didn't have the funds, and when they finally called, that's the amount we owed them. That's as, as of six twenty-eight. And then what's this on eight thirteen? Another two hundred fifty. So is that the current balance? I, I don't understand. So things. what you guys are looking at there is I know I need to get bills approved. So I gave you guys, this is basically everything I have for accounts payable right now. So the first sheet 
that you're looking at that one. Everything highlighted in yellow is what has been paid. The checks clear. Those have been paid. Okay. Yellow is paid. Okay. Everything highlighted sense. in pink is what I'm asking to get approved. We don't have the funds for yes. all this stuff. But as we get the funds, these are the things that I need to get paid so we don't get okay. things turned off. Okay. And, the, and that first sheet there, stapled together, all the checks I've printed. Those have all been printed. Some of them have been signed by Donald when he was here previously. They may need to be reprinted. I'm okay, sure. but so yellow means it's been printed. It hasn't necessarily been paid. No, yellow means it's been printed and paid. And paid. Yes. Okay, so... So then the next sheet that you have stapled together that looks like this one, these are what I currently have entered into assist. These are what we owe. I have not printed any of them. So none of those have been paid, but the highlighted pink ones are things that are entered that we need to figure out how we're paying. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, we'll get to that. We'll, we'll have to come back to that. We're kind of getting segue. I just wanted to double check on that water. So that fifteen seventy five has been paid, and then so this two hundred and fifty that's owed to them on eight thirteen that's been printed or been paid. It's been paid if it's in yellow. In yellow, so on that's paid on eight thirteen. Okay, and then so are they they're totally current then? Yeah. Uh, so they should probably will be calling Tuesday for yeah. the next two weeks okay. worth of. Okay. Okay. And basically, they just call in on the Monday when they've got two loans taken, and we give them the debit card over the phone. Okay. 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 All right. I just wanted to see what we own. And then the very last sheet is payroll. Um, that I did a mock payroll for what I know. Basically, everybody's hours are accurate on their <coughs> Yeah, we'll, we'll come back to that in our approval bills. I just wanted that water, uh, what the balance was on that water for that person. So it looks like we've got some other agenda items before we get to the bills. So it looks like we just need to keep paying at $350 a month. For the time being, until we get legal counsel. What? Okay, well, yeah, we're not on the bills yet. That was just. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. That's because that's been paid already. Anything in yellow has been paid. This is coming. Do this is coming to you, so this, this is an annual, an annual thing, okay. Okay, all right. Well, I'm, I'm sure, like I said, that we'll get there. Uh, so, we will keep paying living water until we get legal counsel on it. Um, am I hearing right or adding right? But it's they're getting paid. They're paying one hundred and seventy-five dollars for one thousand gallons. The town two thousand yes. gallons. Two thousand gallons yeah. or one thousand. It's one thousand mm -hmm. gallons. One hundred and seventy-five dollars. So, so you're not trying to go up three hundred and fifty months. You're paying seven hundred and five dollars. Yeah, that's what I'm figuring. Okay, because okay. okay. I just asked, and it, I said two thousand gallons, one hundred seventy-five dollars, and you confirmed that. So, so two thousand gallons. They do it one thousand this week, one thousand the following week. So when we pay them, we're paying them two weeks at a time. But each load is about one hundred and seventy-five. So for okay. two thousand gallons, we're paying three hundred and forty dollars, roughly. Okay. Uh -huh. um, every two weeks. Every two weeks. So for three hundred and forty dollars every two weeks. So for four thousand gallons, they're we're, we're paying like seven hundred dollars a month for their water, yeah. and they are paying the town forty five dollars. Forty five dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Do we? Does the town own? A water tank that we could go fill up at the water station ourselves in Trinidad and haul this water to him. That'd be cheaper to buy one at this point. How much is a water Those tank? Those big tubs, I, you know, there's a place in Denver that comes into the Colorado Springs, and I bought several of them from the food grade 
with the metal around them, and they were $150 a piece, and they're 500 gallon totes. 500 gallon, and so that water station, it's what, 25 cents a gallon at the water station? Three cents on the on the big because I know on the smaller doves it's twenty five cents a gallon when you're filling. Bulk water sales is three cents a gallon at so the water station. There today. Uh, okay. When they were hauling water, do you know what they were charging for augmentation fund mm -hmm. when they were hauling water? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. So, and you said five hundred gallons on those tanks. 250 a tank, you have to have two tanks. You have two, so two, so, but so 500 total at three cents, we're talking $15. Is that right? Yes. So something to think about. <laughs> but the thing is, you gotta go buy two. Yeah, I'd have to go buy two chains. Yeah, you look at three hundred dollars. Would it fit? Would they fit in the that new truck that we bought? I'm pretty sure we have a tank because at one point one of our utility workers was hauling water to people down to Meadows when that they didn't have that water line for several months. So I'm pretty sure we have a tank, and I'm sure hopefully the truck can haul it. But legally, I don't know if that would be possible if the town's in legal. And with him on the water, water. system, we could we fill the totes here. We're using too much water from us. Uh, on the letter, one of the ones I was reading about, um, we're not allowed to do any of that water. We're not selling. I mean, it's already yeah, sold. Yeah, we're selling it. It's already sold, though. But there is no, we can't. Because if we start that burning, then everybody else is going to see, and they're going to say, well, you did it for somebody else. Well, he has it. And we're already exceeding our water usage as it is. We are. So. I mean, oh, no, they, just, were, they were pretty upset on Friday and asking them. I said, we have two employees where there is no enforcement. You know, who's going to go enforce it? Okay, so where are we at with water hauling them? Are we going to table that? Oh, so, yeah, if we need legal counsel on it, then yeah, we have to. Table to our workshop meeting on the second week of the month. I'm sorry, we can't make a decision vote on that. No, but we can have those. Okay. Take into consideration, sir. It's one thing to buy the, the, the totes. It's another thing to have to go to Trinidad. <coughs> You're going to burn gas. You got to pay someone. You know, you you, you got more than fifteen dollars. Yeah, but I mean, okay, it's still going to be less than eight hundred dollars. Oh, I agree. Yeah. I yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I mean, obviously, there's other expenses. And that's why I was asking about here. So, you know, he's already on our system. I know what you're saying, and okay. I kind of agree with that. But I, I realize they're on our. They are. They're and active. because and, in, and in reality, we would be using more water. This way, it's coming from somewhere else. Okay, then, like he was saying, and I caught that part, it's just added expense going down there right and because the tanks are smaller you know we can only do 500 you know uh how much are they bringing every month four thousand four thousand gallons yeah so you're talking yeah you know at least a couple of trips but i still think even with a couple of trips with the gas you know if we have one tank the cost of a second tank if we have to keep doing this for a while, I still think we could probably save at least probably 400, 500 a month on this. And like right now, we're, you know, trying to save every single penny that we have. So uh, to me, it just seems like, you know, if we're trying to find solutions, it seems like it could be a viable solution. Now, why 
are we hauling 4,000 gallons to them when the city, the people that live in town are only, can only get 3,000? No, no, they can get more than that. You can get all you, the you, you can get more. But you're going you to pay for it. You're going to pay for it. You're going to pay for it. Right. Yeah, well, that, they are I, they are paying for it. She said that anything that they're going over the three thousand, they are paying that difference. So they're paying the same that we're getting. It's just to get them the water. It's costing us a lot more to get them the water. So and something else we need to look at is that they're not the only person on that line. Other people are on that line, but they're not having water hold in. They've been told sorry until the wells have been running. We can't provide you water. And they're doing their own, correct? Um, yes. So I, was, I don't know what they're doing for water. Why is this one? I know I know the place of both the places that they all water to has their own map. <laughs> what? This is closer to the creek from the house. Dave, Dave, do you know what Don, what does he do for water up there? Don, coming down off a of ratio well, the first customer is goo. Don Degman has his personal well. He's got a well. He's got a, a dump That's well. they're hauling water to. No. To Aaron. He's hauling Aaron. All the water's in Aaron. <laughs> the second house. Okay. On that line. Now, as it comes on down through there, there's another line that goes to Bob's Lodge. There's another line, I believe, I'm not going to say for sure, but it's a new guy that there's a little red house. They bought some property there and they've got a windmill down there. And I don't know if they dug well because they haven't been any taps from the town. That's why I'm saying he's got his own well. Okay. I'm just speculating now, but then then Don down there, they've got wells on that property too. Down there where Bob owns, yeah, at the lodge. Yeah, there's wells there, and so you have to come all the way across the road, and that ties in with Trujillo Creek, Mauricio, Elizabeth Wells, all three of the Trump Trump wells. And let's see here. Very West is off the Very West caved in or something. It caved in whenever, whenever, uh, what's the name up there out of Walsenburg? Mm -hmm. Whoever Water was trying to get it pitched. Mark was a mayor and they, they <laughs> collapsed the well. Nothing was ever done with it. So it's just sitting there. We're not, we're not getting <laughs> a drop of water off of it. Just sitting there. Out. <laughs> And that well, with the Mauricio well, and the Trujillo Creek well, with them three, just them three wells running, we never did even use these crop wells. Well, this, because I don't know the answer to this, I'm going to have to ask it. If we found someone up there with a well, could we not buy water from them and transport it a short distance? Do we need to treat the water? Do we need to treat the water? Chlorine. If we get it from their way. Yeah. You still got the conflict of interest because you're hauling for one right. and the surrounding people that's on any line is not going to like it. Uh, it was just quite this cool. is where I, I really think that this should be looked at by an attorney. Right. Yes, ma'am. This I we can play with this all night long, and we're not going to come to a resolution. Right. My suggestion to the council is to table this till I don't know if we're going to have another special meeting or. I'd say schedule, like you said, to do a, a special meeting after the workshop. And then by that time, hopefully, I will have an answer to this water hauling question. Do you want me to get information on it? Yeah, I'll do it. Thank you. 
and just one question. So I no, we're no, okay to no, we're okay to pay the living water then until you make a final decision. Uh, we'll we'll get to that when we get to the bills, the approval of the bills. That's all I would say. Can I get a motion to table this till the next meeting on <laughs> September twelfth? Motion to table it. Uh, water hauling until September 12th. Second. Mayor Pro Tem? Yes. Ms. Adams? Yes. Mr. Brahas? Yes. Mr. Romero? Yes. Mr. Thornton? Yes. Town Judge. This is where we talked about just only paying him if he actually does something for us and get him off that two hundred fifty dollars a month that we're paying now. Yes. Yes. I think as needed. I think mm -hmm. Stephanie or Sarah mentioned that since we don't have law enforcement, mm -hmm. that no we don't. Ha here, when's the last time he's been here? For me. Probably so last year, <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, last year. Is there is there a, there a con is there a contract in place? Who is the judge? Who is the judge? I'm not sure. And I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Do we? Do two hundred fifty dollars for somebody we don't know with judges? I I don't personally know. I haven't had to deal uh, with this. So. Last name's Dion. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm really serious. Who is the judge? Garcia. 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 John Garcia from Trinidad. John Garcia from Trinidad. Um, yeah, I think we need to find if there's a contract for him somewhere, a vendor file for him. One of the things that we did when we took the youth council, we had to go through and retain the different positions. What we need to do is turn around and not retain them. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We need to look and see if there's a contract and just let him know that, you know, if there's a contract that, you know, we're paying him $250 a month and we have to revise that contract, we need to know. We voted to retain him for another year in April. In April. So we need to make a motion to, like you said, unretain well, him. Well, I'm sure understand. I, I don't know who's so. And also, I don't know if the statutory town is bound by any law that says we have to. We have, have to have so one on retention. That might be something also to get legal advice. I think probably we probably have to retain an attorney and retain uh, law enforcement. And okay, then. Table that too till we find out. I think out we're going to have to take, make a motion to table that one until we see if we have a contract or, and that was going to be September 12th. Yep. Yes. Motion to table. Yes. Oh, judge. I second. Roll call. Chair Putin? Yes. Ms. Adams? Yes. Mr. Barajas? Yes. Mr. Romero? Yes. Mr. Thorne? Yes. Furlough hours, town hall, library. We have been saying that we don't have any money to be paying everybody like we have been paying. So we got to do something. We got to cut our costs somewhere. So. The only thing to do is to fertile people. Any arguments or comments or anything from anybody? Any comments? I think it's, you know, it's been mentioned to me, you know, but each of, you know, Stephanie and Sarah on 20 hours a week, uh, temporarily. And didn't somebody mention temporarily closing the library? Yeah, and I see this in there. Boys, there's something in this that tells us that we can't do it. I we got I just got this, so it's I don't know what you're reading, but the uh, library 
on the library page. Our goal is to ensure your residents have access to quality library services to this end. Because it looks like there's some kind of grant that pays the libraries, mm -hmm. librarians fee. So, understood. Where is that grant money? Damn it. Oh, it has nothing to do with money. No, no. I was saying, you know, <laughs> I, I, I was looking at a lot of the paperwork and it says, you know, this was budgeted for this and then when it's all, when they take it, it has a balance, but where is that balance is what I'm asking. And I mean, it, I get it that. Had, it had to go with everything else that's there. Uh, and if I can find the, so then we can move Sarah and Stephanie like we get, to the library. We get paid yes. like something like, yeah, here it is. Uh, number two, the entire list of 13 requirements for Colorado Public Library makes the library jurisdiction eligible for $4,500 annually in state funds. So have we collected that and can we close are we able to close the library? Well, we got if we got federal it's, money to keep it open. The one that you have right there. That one. I'm looking at myself. Features. I didn't And all the stuff on the library. The librarian actually brought it in yesterday and. According to her, in whatever paperwork she left, she said that there's something in there that says they can't close or they have to be open at least 20 hours a week or they'll start losing their state funding. So she said right now that's what they're open. They're only open 20 hours a week. So if I guess we went on furlough or they had to close for more time, she said that they're going to be losing the state funding. So. Not necessarily because we can move you girls to the library too to pick up your hours, right? You know, I was talking to Pat. At one time, the librarian was all strictly a volunteer. That's, you know, when I moved here, if I'm not mistaken, that's how that library was run. And it was through volunteers. So maybe we need to bring that up at the workshop, uh, you know, put the word out. For the workshop that we're looking for volunteers for the library maybe well according to this would we be responsible to pay back this forty five hundred dollars if we close it yeah. or did we even receive it well where's it at this is steep well it went into any of the funds the council's voted over a period of time several times well and the library they have their whole own board and their own finances so any like funding that the library gets goes to then directly it doesn't yeah. come through our funding yeah. or through our general fund or anything no, as far okay. as I know, no did you hear that erlinda what that the library gets their own funding has their own books and everything so if there's any of that funding that came in like that $4,500 uh, grant or whatever, it goes right into their books. It didn't run through our general fund or anything. And I'm guessing they have their own board because Lillian said yesterday her and the board was trying to be here for this meeting tonight, but they couldn't make it. Somebody's got a question. Do you have another copy of this? Yeah, sure. <coughs> Mayor. Oh, wait. Yes, sir. I'm listening. Did you say something? No comments from the audience. But we haven't stopped it yet. Yeah. Right. Oh, I was just going to say if you guys do want volunteers, I'm sure, I mean, like, I'd volunteer. I'm sure we're both people. willing to volunteer. If you guys need volunteers for the library, the library that I'm sure you can get them because I volunteer my weekends. And that is what I. Thank you. Thank you. And you know, and the way that we're going now, this it looks like that this is everyone is just guessing on this. This is another thing we should probably ask the attorney because are we okay? So this goes into their fund. Get the town's responsible to pay them. But that's what 
as it goes. I, I, I'm do we pay? Are we, with it. Do yes. we, are we paying payroll? We, yeah, yes. we do. We pay for their payroll, their because when I don't understand, the internet, they have their own board, their own. Yeah, why are we paying their payroll? Why does the town of Aguilar pay their payroll? No, I mean, well, you paid your wife, it's worth there, maybe it's something you could ask. It's kind of like the housing. They have their own board, they have their own, and they pay. But yet their budgets and everything run, you know, they have to go through here. But well, I'm not understanding where the library is. Here's the problem with this. This is something that we, you know, it, this is something that was just put on the table tonight. You know, it, there's links on here that explain everything we're asking. So, Well, again, I will just ask the board to table this and I will and once look, again look into this, okay? And we're going to have to make sure that these things come up at the next meeting. They because, will. Because the last councils have not followed through with this. So I want to make sure that this council. We'll figure out where they're getting stop paid. Me off. Wait, we're going to figure out where they're going to, they're getting paid. I know. And how it's going to be run. Because right now, we're going to pay them out of an account that we don't have any money earning. I know, and but this just, is just, what I'm trying to say. Just point of respect. I don't cut you off. I would appreciate the same respect. Okay, say what you have to say. I did. And I get a motion to um, just the library. What are we going to do with uh, since they were both together? The town. What do you mean? Well, furlough hours, town hall, library. So we make a motion on town hall. Well, I and table the library. Yeah, yeah, I think. Yes. yes. I agree. Make a motion and we split the two up. Vote on them separately. Okay. Second, before you vote, when will this take effect? Beginning of next pay period. September? Well, I don't know when the next When's pay the period. next pay period? Actually, um, Wednesday. So Friday, being that Monday is a, hol a holiday, I need to do payroll Friday. So we get paid Wednesday, so payroll How, starts wait, getting on Monday. How did your pay period run? Is it every week or every, every two weeks? Two weeks. Yes. So the last one was a 21, I think. So now we're September 4th, I believe, is the next one. It's every other one. Next week. Yeah. So you said 821 to win? And then the next one would be 94. So the new so, but when, when's the ending of the pay period? Sunday. So, so the 18th. So it was. Um, so the 4th through the 18th, or the 5th through the 18th was your pay period? Yes, it, that's like the calendar showing it. And so Monday, the 5th, so it runs Monday. Monday through Sunday. Yep. Monday from two weeks prior to that Sunday. Sunday yep. So, and then there's actually two months out of the year you're getting three payrolls out of that. Yep. Okay. So then, okay, so the new pay period started the 19th. Um, which would run through September 1st for payday on the 4th? Yes. Okay, so the ending of the pay period is the 1st. Is the 1st. Okay, so um, the beginning of the new pay period is 2nd, which is a holiday. Are we paying holidays? You guys get paid holidays? Yep. Well, that's actually the start. So I think, yeah, it would start. Um, so if we're paying holidays, is that going to be part of the 20 hours that they're each getting then? Or do they only get paid four hours of holiday? It seems like they've been here long enough that the holiday should stay as a full day. You know, it's, how many years you've been here? Fourteen. Fourteen. You know, it's. 
I would say any holiday, like through this period, they get their full pay. Well, the but the holiday doesn't fall until the next pay period, the start of the new pay period, when we're talking about starting the furlough. Okay, I have a question. So, if we start this immediately, which that's what it's sounding like, what's that going to do to the first of the month? The billing? Mm -hmm. What's yeah, going I mean, that, that's the whole thing. I mean, wait, wait, what's going to happen to the training? Yeah, I know. And that's another, that, I mean, I haven't really been on board with the furloughs at all, actually, because we're already running these two ragged. Um, in my opinion, we can't afford not to have them here full time, but that's my opinion. Mm -hmm. and how it's just got to be part of the budget, it's part of you know the punch list, it's part of you know getting emergency funding. That you know, um, I sent some options to Erlinda last night, you know, banks willing to do uh, municipal loans. Some other grants that are out there. Um, we need to call um, the county, you know, and, and negotiate with this treasurer and be like, look, you know, we've we're spending, you know, upwards of one hundred forty thousand dollars to get these audits done, and we can't get them done. You know, what are we supposed to do? Um, you know, even at this point on my punch list, we have to really look at the option of filing bankruptcy. The town filing, you know, bankruptcy. Um, you know, I, I, if the girl, sorry, the, the women, these ladies are willing to work, but understand that maybe payroll might be a little bit late sometimes, you know, while we're scrambling. Um, they've already, you know, been flexible enough that, you know, the couple payrolls ago, they only got half their payroll, you know, they understand that, you know, they just got to work with us on it. Um, I don't think we can afford, there's too much to be done. If, if, if this is my thought, if we're planning on getting that audit, um, the, audit the audit, whatever we're doing for 2023 into the computer, we're going to need them here. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not the audit. It's rebuild, basically well, rebuilding, rebuilding the books for 2020. Right. We're going to need them there, not to mention, you know, I mean, there's core requests coming in um, on my punch list. What We need to figure out the state budgets. Those have not been submitted the last two years. And as I understand it, there's some funding that can be released if those state budgets are right. done. So, I mean, Okay. Can we take a 10 minute break? Y'all good with the 10 minute break? Yeah. yeah. Or you want to go home? The boy still I think he starts at 4 30 in the morning. 10 minute break it is. Recess. Are you okay, Vern? Yeah, I was just. You look kind of like you were in pain earlier. Oh, I, I say a thing.